Hey, Jose here. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can join us in all of our adventures. Welcome to San Jose. Universal's Islands of Adventure today, hopefully to ride the Velocicoaster, which is in technical rehearsals right now. So we could be waiting in line and it may not operate. It just totally depends on what the attraction is doing because it's a test and adjust. But man, this attraction looks amazing. Look at that. Now, I don't think we'll be able to take our cameras on it because it is a high velocity ride, which means they're going to make us put everything in a locker. That's OK. We were planning on that. We'll get some B-roll later and we'll tell you all about it. We'll get some shots of the ride itself going. So now much of this queue is tucked in what used to be the Triceratops encounter. And they even had to get rid of a little bit of Camp Jurassic to build this attraction while the coaster itself kind of lays on top of the walkways and everything. Lots of extra queue back there. about this attraction is they didn't have to remove any other attractions to put it in. This is an additional ride for an already really great lineup of attractions here at Islands of Adventure. Now some fun facts about the Velocicoaster. As it goes by us right now, it was built by Intamin, the same company that built Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure here in the park. It goes upside down four times, has two launches, which are done by Lin system or linear uh, synchronous motors or magnets that basically launch the train ahead. Uh, top speeds are about 70 miles per hour and it's just a really incredible attraction. From the top of the biggest hill you can see the entire park and even over into Universal Studios Florida. It is a still coaster and a one of a kind here in Florida uh, as far as this size and scope of the coaster. The attraction itself was broken into two different themed parts from what we could feel from the story. The first part of it was right out in, in the paddock itself, and uh, the coaster intertwines between some amazing rock work and scenic design that they've included in this attraction. From there, you bust out of the paddock, and you go wild and free through the rest of the park. And that's where the big, long areas are, where you dip over the water and uh, some other great stuff. We're gonna be really excited to do this attraction at night in the future because you can tell that it was built with nighttime in mind as well. The trains have light effects on them as well as that really tight first part where it intertwines around itself. 
inside the paddock itself. Uh, that's going to be really neat at night with the lighting and the sharp jagged rocks and everything. I'm just so excited to ride it at night. Uh, so that's a little bit of information about this amazing coaster opening in June here at Islands of Adventure. We were very lucky to be able to get on it today in May. What were your thoughts on the Velociraptor? That was actually pretty cool. Uh, I liked it. I, lo I love the launches in it and I love the, uh, the part where you go upside down over the water. That was probably my favorite thing. Um, but I don't know if I'm just so used to roller coasters. Um, but for Orlando, it is a great coaster. Uh, something that we needed here for a while. So I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm excited that it's here. It's a great attraction. It's, like I said, a good addition for the park. Um, we're just really excited to have been able to come and enjoy it today. We're down here in front of the Discovery Center here at Jurassic Park and Islands of Adventure. And there's just, it's always exciting when there's a new attraction. 